Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to cover whether Clicks and Vino could actually win this season's FNCS over on NA. I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on how they're playing and whether I think they have a good chance. If you do enjoy, please make sure to smash that sub button down below as I'm hoping to hit 12,000 subs by summer. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now let's start off giving some background information on both Clicks and Vino. Now Clicks has zero FNCS titles. He's never won and his best ever placement is fourth, which he got a last season with Epic Whale. However, we know that this season he dropped Epic Whale to try and pick someone up that is going to help him win FNCS, which is where he picked one of the all-time GOATs, Vino. Vino has two FNCS titles, both coming in on a U. However, in recent seasons, he's flopped a bit with Taysen. Obviously, Taysen is well moving to NA to play with Iomzo. Clicks, obviously, partnering up with Vino. Now, Clicks and Vino's sole purpose is to try and win a spot for land, but they also want to try and get Clicks' first FNCS title, and I think they have a pretty good chance. However, it appears they're not off to the greatest start, because of the three tournaments that they've played so far, here have been their placements. They played the first Performance Eval Cup, however, again, this is from NA over to EU because obviously the Performance Eval Cups only run on EU servers, and they come 252nd, failing to qualify for finals, but we have to remember they are on around 100 ping. The second Formal Eval Cup was a pretty bad performance with a 7,360th, again failing to qualify. However, they have picked it up with their first tournament on NA Central this season with the first Euro Cash Cup, where they placed 8th in opens, easily qualifying them to the second round, which is finals. Now, on paper, many like me would have the this duo down to do incredibly well and this is because you're combining two of the best egos on each region. Vino was an absolutely insane fighter and is an absolutely insane fighter on any region he plays on and he also has a massive ego. Same with Clicks. we know he's a confident fighter, we know he is one of the most mechanically skilled players on NA Central so when you put these two in the same team on paper they should do incredibly well. Now what do I think could be a potential issue and this is the communication factor and them working well together. Now the reason for all this is because I believe there may be a little bit of friction in the duo and let me explain why. You see when Clicks has played with some previous duos in the past I feel like they are a little bit more scared to confront him just because of who he is and obviously his online profile being the massive influencer that he is for Fortnite. Whereas Vino doesn't quite frankly care about this at all. He grinds competitive 100% and is solely focused on competitive whereas Clicks is a bit more focused on content but how you see do i think this could potentially actually benefit the duo as a whole well i would think it's because if clicks makes a mistake vino will actually confront him on that mistake and he will pull him up on it which clicks maybe might not get used to but over a bit of time they might become more comfortable with this and i don't think vino is scared to confront clicks which will work together in a good dynamic if clicks can accept this and learn to improve with vino now we can't do a video covering their chances of winning fncs without touching on their landing spot because i'm fair to say this is probably one of the biggest risks when it comes to them not being able to win and we also have to remember that clicks has never won so for him it's a massive opportunity with vino to try and win now they are landing in the west buildings of sandy steps and they're actually contested here by scented and chance scented obviously one of the most consistent players when it comes to fncs grand finals that is around he is kind of the thomas hd of the na region in total now chance is a bit more of an unknown player he does have 5k earns but i think scented combined with chance we know they're going to be quite a strong team off spawn which could potentially pose some issues to clicks and Vinos if they do uh, qualify to FNCS Grand Finals, which we're expecting obviously Scented and both Clicks to do. Now Clicks from there rotates into the desert biome towards Brutal Beachhead. He looks to fight for the medallion and be aggressive to secure loot if they need it. Again, like I've said, these are two of the biggest ego and best fighters on regions coming together to both fight on NA Central. They're not going to be scared to take a fight if they need to secure that extra bit of the loot. We know that Vino is one of the most incredible fighters in the entire game of Fortnite and Clicks combined with this, we know that they can take on pretty much any team in the lobby. So it's just whether they can can do that effectively and also whether they can win off spawn because we know that that's a whole different ball game this season and scented is quite a good off spawn fighter now even though we've spent the entire video gassing up clicks and vino and i do honestly think they have a solid chance of winning it's important that we talk about other teams on na central this season that also have a chance of winning now there's no busted location this season like last season there's no sort of grim gate the best thing you've got to that is redline rig and who's going redline rig of course it's peter bon Poyo. they're going to grab that shield medallion an insanely good machinist combat AR, and I do think they're going to be a serious threat with this and potentially could go for another FNCS win. If you had to call me out in it, I definitely think they'd be in the top three, so something to look out for this season and definitely ones that could pose a threat being in the same part of the map, loosely in that south section towards Sandy Steps where obviously we see Clicks and Vino. Next up, I've got Taysen and Iomzo. Obviously, Taysen was during with Vino before Vino split up with him to go with Clicks. Now, Iomzo, we know, is a very consistent player and they've been consistently playing well. Both of them need to have a good bounce back season 
and I think these two could be a big threat. But a team that I definitely think is going to cause a lot of issues for Clicks and Vino in terms of getting that title is Canada and Cooper. This is another team that I'd put in that top three. They come third place in last grounds and they played consistently really well, getting to end game on a regular basis. And when they did get to end game, they capitalized on it where it very well. Canada is playing absolutely out of his mind at the moment, so I'm feeling very confident that team is going to do well and could really be a threat to win the title. And lastly, we can't go without mentioning Acorn and Colt. Now, they won four out of nine games in the Duo Cash Cup Opens today, which is already meaning that they're into the Duo Cash Cup Finals. And obviously, they won by a good margin, which means Acorn and Cold are coming off the back of that FNCS win a few months ago in Season 1, and they're feeling confident already. They have already got that qualification spot to FNCS Globals due to them winning in Major 1. So we know that they're not going to be playing for the qualification spots, but who doesn't want an FNCS title? Acorn and Cold will always be a threat. Now, to close off today's video, I'm going to give my opinion on the percentage chance I think Clix and Vino actually have of taking home the FNCS crown. Now, I also want to know your guys' top three and prediction for Clix and Vino in the comments down below. So, if you could drop a comment, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to put Clix and Vino's FNCS win percentage chance at around about 10 to 15%. Now, the reason for this is because there's so many good teams like the ones I've mentioned, and there's so much competition for the FNCS title on NA Central this season. I just think, you know, with Clix never having an FNCS, Yes, it might be a little bit of a struggle. Vino, we know, is an incredible player, and as a team, these two will be absolutely incredible. I'm confident they can get another top 10, possibly even top 5 finish, but could they really win the title? Yes, if everything goes their way, but I think the spawn fight's a bit too much of an issue. There's a few things that need to fall perfectly in place for them to come in together and get that title, and that's why I'm still giving them a 10-15% to chance, because that could happen, but again, it's unlikely. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Peace out.